Hi guys, this is Debbie Campos and today I wanted to take a few minutes to show you guys how I pack my winter bag, my winter backpack, which is all the things that I need for usually zero degree or maybe sub. Um, it has snowed a lot here in Utah, so um, the bag that I carry, it's big. But it's very comfortable so i would like to show you guys my this is a coyote 80 uh kelty coyote 80 and it has more than enough room for all my all my gear my winter gear so i'm going to show you right now stay tuned actually getting ready to go to work and I decided to do this quick video because I'm getting ready to go on another backpacking uh, camping uh, trip with my daughter and I wanted to show you guys first of all this is a new pack it's called the Coyote the Kelty Coyote 80 it's 80 liters oh, it's five pounds um, I believe most of the 80 liters um, backpack will weigh uh, five pounds because they need structure and they need to be able to um, to carry the heavy gears you have so uh, we've been having a lot of snow here so I'm predicting that we're gonna have um, uh, at least a foot or maybe more of snow up in the mountain so I have to bring my snowshoes uh, so as you can see I can put it right here on the side um, so on the other side, also my tr my trekking poles with the snow baskets, um, they go right here on the side. And then on the front pocket, which is kind of a stretchy front pocket, I have my um, shovel. <laughs> yes, I have my shovel. So um, I will take everything out uh, from outside. I'm going to put it on the ground. I am not going to remove everything from inside, but I can show you how it goes. So, I'm going to do that now. So, I'm pretty happy with this uh, bag. I have another 80 liters. I just wanted to mention why I changed. My other 80 liters was for um, 18 for your frame, um, your torso size. Um, it was too big for my torso size. It was for 18 and above, and my torso size is actually seven, 16 and a half. So I looked for another bag. I needed a bag that was strong, that could haul, haul um, weight, and then that it was, you know, of a good name, but it's still uh, affordable. So that's why I got me um, the Kelty. Kelty Coyote 80. So I'm going to show it to you guys. Alright. So there it is. I took off the um, um, all the stuff that was outside. So my snowshoes, my trekking poles, and my shovel. Um, I, I'm not counting on having to actually carry on the bag because um, if it's snow, I'm going to use it gonna be on my feet feet and if it's not snowy which I doubt it it is I'll just leave it in the car so um, I'll either use it or I'll just leave it in the car so chances of me actually um, carrying it on the bag are little well anyways uh, let me start here on the back um, the suspension system um, the suspension system is a really good suspension system. It's adjustable and you can adjust it on your back. Um, it's got very good padding, um, very good for your waist, you know, to distribute the weight. And it has very large size um, pockets. So on one side, on one pocket I carry... Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I don't think I can open it. All right, there we go. So I carry my multi-tool camp compass. I also have a knife. 
uh, and on the other pocket I carry my uh, ID and my phone. Uh, it has a top lid that comes off and it turns into a mini bag, you know, if you want to just create base camp and you want to go hiking during the day, you can just take this as your bag and it has like a shoulder strap and everything. So this is the top of my, it's very big, I carry all my winter accessories here now, which is gloves, beanies, also my, um, what do you call the um, cleats, ice cleats. Um, hold on, let me close it. And then there's an extra smaller one where I carry here my first, my first aid kit and my hygiene kit right here. I also changed the little bags for uh, those vaults bags. I, they're so good, very, very lightweight. All right, so still on the outside. Oh God, sorry. I have like this huge tripod. Hopefully, and I still have to make it just to work. So, sorry if I'm going too fast. But uh, I was gonna tell you the height of the the whole entire bag is 32 inches and the width without the pockets 17 and the depth it's I believe 12 or 14 I will put all the the specs in the description so you guys can look if you're interested so this big pocket right here I have all my my steaks my um, sh my trowel my toilet paper and on this other pocket on this side, which is exactly the same thing, it's, I carry my hand warmers and, I'm sorry, no, not my hand warmers, these are my camp shoes. Um, this has a good water bottle, um, but you have to secure, if it's a tall water bottle, you have to secure it with your compression straps. Otherwise, it'll fall off. Um, Okay, so on the outside pocket, um, so, well, let me show you the inside then first. Let's start from the top. So when you remove the lid, what I like about this bag, it stands on its own. If you make a good base with your sleeping bag inside, it stands on its own. So, like you see right here. Um, my bag is not all the way full, which makes me feel good. <laughs> Um, so it's got this cord cinch, um, cinch strap, I don't know how you call this, but as you can see, sorry, it's very big, it's not, you could fill it up all the way up to here and then just lift up the lid to close it. So right here I have my food. And another thing that I like about this pack is that you can actually access from the front. It's a front loader too. So, um, there you go. I can make my pee bottle out of the way. So right here you can see, so when I get to camp, I can access my tent right here. Right away, the tarp, the tent, and right here I have my cook kit. In the back right there I have my um, sleeping pad. And on the bottom I have, I, what I did is I got a 45 liter, um, liters um, compression sack. And I put my two, I put my two big sleeping bags, warm sleeping bags plus my clothing. And I was able to cinch it down to the width of the bag. And that made a really good base because I put it like this. So, let me close it. 
And now I will open the front because there's, um, okay, so there's a zipper to open the front to see the load inside. There's a, a front stash, stash pocket and then there's another pocket right here which is called the admin pocket. And right here I keep all my electronics. See right here? My, um, these are my hand warmers for me and my daughter. And right here it goes very deep. It goes all the way down here. I have the, the rain cap for the, for the bag and for the pack. And also right here I have all my, my, my headlamp, my camp lamp, all my um, repair kit. Everything is down there. And then, um, to close, I just have to cinch, like I said, it's not all the way full. So it has a compression strap here. Oh my God. It's very hard to do everything with one hand. Um, has a compression strap. Oh, of course. There you go. That lets you cinch like this and make everything like more firm. So now you just have to close it, and then you use the the, the side as uh, compression straps to you know make it tight and stable. Right here is where you close. So. That's it. This is my winter backpack. Um, I'm going to put it on right now so you guys can see again. Huh. And it's, it's a very, very strong pack. I mean, I really like it. Let me put it on so you guys can see. So, first I close my bag. Sorry, I don't think you can see it, but I'm just... I'm cinching down the straps making it like tight so you know it doesn't it doesn't throw you off balance when you are hiking right now without the and I already have my food here I just don't have water but water um, usually my daughter takes the water in her pack all right so here is my bag on um, Like I said earlier, uh, my frame, my torso frame, it's 17, so it's supposed to sit right on my hips, and uh, it does, and it's very comfortable to carry, so, and easy to adjust. So, right now it has 32 pounds with food already, so the only thing I don't have is water, but my daughter takes water inside her bag. Um, I like this bag, it is comfortable, it is strong, and I don't feel the weight as much. Of course, I don't hike that far from my car, but I still need something comfortable, and they can haul, 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 I can't say that word, the weight that I needed to haul, to carry. So, with that in mind, if you have any questions, Please uh, post it on the comment section below. Um, I will answer as soon as possible. If it's your first time on my channel, I would like to invite you to subscribe. Um, we always do backpacking trips and camping trips and winter camping, summer camping, me and my daughter or me and my other two kids. We're always making something different. Um, other than that, I want to wish you a beautiful day. I also want to wish you a beautiful week and go outside. Don't get discouraged because um, you can find gear that is very affordable um, and reliable. So it, other than that, I again, I want to wish you a beautiful day and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm looking forward to it. All right, bye.